I'm William the Conqueror, my enemy stood no chance. They call me the first English king, although I come from France. 1066, the doomsday book I gave to history. So fat on death, my body burst, but enough about me. To help remember all your kings, I've come up with this song. A simple rhyme and ditty for you all to sing along. Oh, William. Bit short, in it. We need more kings. Who came next? William's second cheeks were red. Killed out hunting, so it said. I took over everyone. That's my next eldest son. Then King Stephen, it's true, check it. I, Henry Kew, killed Thomas Beckett. Richard Lionheart, that's right. Always smiling for a fight. Oh, King John, what a disaster. We're all restrained by Magna Carta. William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry, Richard, John. Oi! Time for my mate, King Henry VIII, to take up this song. Henry III built the Abbey, and one hated Scots. A red hot poker killed Ed II, that must have hurt him lots. Edward III was a chivalry nerd, began the Hundred Years' War. Then Richard II was King H10, then Henry S, yes, one more. King Henry IV, plots galore, not least from Henry V. Mwah! And killed ten score at Agincourt, then Henry VI arrived. <laughs> Edward IV, Edward V, Richard III, he's bad. Cause he fought wars with Henry VII, first Judah and my dad. So Henry VIII, I was great, six wives to were beheaded. Edward VI came next, but he died young and so my dreaded. Daughter Mary ruled so scary, then along came... Me, I'm Liz the First, I had no kids, so Tudor's R.I.P. William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry, Richard, John. Hoy! Henry, Ed, 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 Rich, two, then three more Henrys join our song. Edward, Edward, Rich, the third. Henry, Henry, Ed, again. Mary, one. Good Queen Bess. That's me, time for more men. James, six of Scotland next, as English James, the first he led. Then Stuart's ruled, so Charles the first, the one who lost his head. No monarchy until came me, Charles too, I like to party. King Jimmy too was scary, ooh, then Mary was a smarty. She ruled with Bill, their shoes were filled by Sauper's Queen and Gloria. And so from then you were ruled by men. Till along came me, Victoria. William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry, Richard, John. Hoy! Henry, Ed, 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 Rich, two, then three more Henrys join our song. Edward, Edward, Rich, the third. Henry, Henry, Ed, again. Mary, one. Good Queen Bess. Jimmy, Charles, and Charles. So began the Hanover Gang, George I and George II. Grim, then George III was quite absurd. Till I replaced old him. King George IV, and known henceforth as angry, fat and cross. Hang on. It's true you beat Napoleon, but were mostly a dead loss. Hang on. Old William IV was a sailor. Ahoy! It's nearly the end of the story, as on to the scene comes the best of queen. Kill to Queen Victoria! William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry, Richard, John. Hoy! Henry, Ed, 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 Rich, two, then three more Henrys join us all. Edward, Edward, Rich, the third. Henry, Henry, Ed, again. Everyone, good, good Queen Bess. Best. Jimmy, Charles, and Charles, and then Jim, Will, Mary, and a Gloria. George, 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 Will, Victoria. Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. I ruled for 64 years, you know. And seven George five and eight George six list two then reigned and how and so our famous monarch song is brought right up to now. Oh. William William Henry Stephen Henry Richard John. Hey Henry Ed 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 Rich two then three more Henrys join our song. Edward Edward Rich the third Henry Henry Ed again. Mary one good Queen Bess Jimmy Charles and Charles and then Jim Will Mary and a Gloria George 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 Will. Divorce beheaded and died, divorce beheaded survived. I'm Henry VIII, I had six sorry wives. Some might say I ruined their lives. <clears throat> Catherine of Aragon was one, she failed to give me a son. I had to ask her for a divorce, that broke up her heart, of course. Young Anne Boleyn, she was two, had a daughter the best she could do. I said she flirted with some other man, and off with the chop went dear Anne. Lovely Jane Seymour was three, 
the love of a lifetime for me. She gave me a son, little Prince Ed. Then poor old Jane went and dropped dead. Divorced, beheaded and died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. I'm Henry VIII, I had six sorry wives. Some might say I ruined their lives. Anne of Cleves came at four. I fell for the portrait I saw. Then laid eyes on her face and cried, she's a horse. I must have another divorce. Catherine Howard was five. A child of 19, so alive. She flirted with others, no way to behave. The axe sent young Kath to her grave. Catherine Parr, she was last. By then all my best days were past. I lay on my deathbed age just 55. Lucky Catherine the last stayed alive. I mean, how unfair. Ugh. Divorce, beheaded and died. Divorce, beheaded, survived. I'm Henry VIII, I had six sorry wives. You could say I ruined their lives. Our tale begins when they on Spain, its lead is for a shower. And I ran out of patience, so began my quest for power. I splashed my cash to all the papal cardinals in hope that they'd be bought. They were, in short, and I became the Pope. More power than I ought to, blood sticker than water. Appoint my sons and daughter to run a dynasty. With daddy as the Pope, I could do as I pleased was ice. I'd kill a man who dared to like invade my personal space. I found a husband for Lucretia, rich Giovanni Sforza. Do you love him? Yes, of course, but love is power and money more so. Now no marry to the Sforzas, this opens up new doors. As the world bows down before us, the Borgia Sforza family. Oh yes, and while we're at it, we will marry son Geoffrey. Age 12, but so what soon will be? Borgia Sforza and the Naples family <sighs> When the Sforza family eventually bores you We'll just annul the marriage if he refuses to divorce you Don't I get to say? Don't fret for you, another man I'll get Alfonso of Aragon I like him, this could go on and on You like him, I've gone off him His pretty face makes me wince You killed him? Yeah, and the model for Machiavelli's prince Giovanni ran the army, but Cesare said No way! I'll kill you if you cross me, I might kill you anyway I am the most dispowerful, least evilest of all As long as Dad's alive, there's not a single chance I'll fall <laughs> uh, Oh no We suddenly lost status, it seems the whole world hate us They excommunicate us, they bore My name is... My name is Charles II. I love the people and the people love me so much that they restored the English monarchy. I'm part Scottish, French, Italian, a little bit Dane, but 100% party animal. Champagne! Spaniels I adored, named after me too. Like me, they were fun with the natty hairdo. Is today my birthday? I can't recall. Let's have a party anyway, because I love a mask wall. All hail the king of Bling. Let's sing. Bells ring, ding ding I'm the king who brought back partying King Charles, my daddy, lost his throne and kings were banned They chopped off his head, then Ollie Cromwell ruled the land Old Ollie wasn't jolly, he was glum and he was proud Would be miserable as sin, only singing not allowed. allowed When Ollie died, the people said, Charlie, me hearty Get rid of his dull laws, come back, we'd rather party This action's what they called the monarchy restoration Which naturally was followed by a huge celebration, celebration. The king of England said, no sin to sing okay. or anything All say I'm the king who brought back partying Great London fire was a whopper In my reign London city came a cropper So this king did what was right and proper For the fire proved I'm more than a bopper I'm a fire stopper Married Catherine Brackenstall, she was a love so true There would never be another, well, maybe one or two Lucy Walter, Nell Gwynn, Moll Davis, Barbara Villiers You think that's bad, but her name 
seems not as silly as As king, I must admit, I broke the wedding rules But who cares when I brought back the crown jewels? I reinstated Christmas, make up sport and even plays I was the merry monarch, they were good old days When said and done, King Charles me. did run England for fun I was the king, loved by everyone, my song is done Party, anyone? Vile Victorians Viewers may like to know that all the names in the following sketch are genuine Victorian names. Good day. Right, settle down. Mr Butler isn't here today, so I'll be taking the register. Uh, now, I don't know any of you, so be sure to call out when you hear your name. Raspberry Lemon. Lettuce Burger. Bovril. I'm sorry, I, I think I must have picked up a shopping list. No, miss, those are children's names. They're not answering because they're off sick. Bovril and Raspberry. Honestly, Christian names have got really weird since Victoria became Queen. Well, OK, on, on with the register. No way, miss. Sit down, what are you talking about? You said, OK, on the register. I'm OK. OK, Johnson. Well, OK, uh, unless I give permission, never get out of your seat. Yes, miss? Why are you standing up? You said, never get out of your seat. I'm never. Never rook rook. Has nobody got an ordinary name in this classroom? Yes. Toilet? All right, be quick. No, that's my name. I think that's quite a normal name. My sister's called Baboon. Toilet and Baboon. Your parents must be evil. No, that's evil over there. Yes. I've got an ordinary name, miss. It's Susan. Ah, that's more like it. Susan Semolina thrower. Right, let's just try and get through this, shall we? I'll say your names, you say here, and uh, I'll try not to say your names accidentally. Happy? Yes, miss. Don't tell me your name's happy. Right, register. Here we go. Freezer Breezer. Here, miss. Princess Cheese. Here, miss. Minty Badger. Here, miss. Scary Looker. No, I'm sorry. Why would anybody call their child Scary Looker? Forget I asked. Now, I am Miss Farting Clack. Good morning, Miss Farting Clack. There. Yes, those really were all real Victorian names. Minty Badger and Princess Cheat. <laughs> hey, it makes what celebrities call their children nowadays almost normal. Yeah, right. The famous Roman Empire was the biggest, meanest neighbourhood. We four were the baddest emperors. And by bad, we don't mean good. <laughs> My name is Caligula, a rotten Roman pigula. If you tell me a fibula, I'd hack your hands to stumps. One time I killed a priest who'd come to sacrifice a beast. You think it's sad that he's deceased? We all laugh like chumps. I'm very hairy, but take note, if you so much as whisper goat, with an iron rod you will be smote. In a good mood today, so I won't slit your throat. I'm bad. He's bad. Shameless rotten cad Do you still have limbs since meeting me? Then I guess you should be glad <laughs> Your nastiness was fabulous But my name's Lagabarnas And I was far, far worse Just listen to my verse I was quite notorious For catapulting venomous snakes At Rome's enormous crowd So how they fled <laughs> If you won a lottery prize, I'd give you bees, dead dogs and flies. My house guests got a nice surprise, a lion in their bed. You think to children, I'd be cuter. No, I was their biggest executor. Use their guts to read the future. Says here I should get a job as a school tutor. I'm bad. He's bad. Could argue I was sad. Hated through our empire from Great Britain to Baghdad. Afraid your claim is bogus, cos my name is Commodus And no one else could be a worse emperor than me 
There never was a greater pretend gladiator. If the booing got too loud, made the lions fight the crowd. Just one man was grander, Julius Alexander. So I killed him, see, cos I'm the emperor, me. I'm bad. He's bad. My action's truly red. You only got the emperor job cos you were chosen by your dad. To me, you all score zero. My name is Emperor Nero. Evil men, you're not. I'm the worstest of the lot. Woo! My rule was full of fear. Oh, yes, men from far and near oh, called me a fighting hero. Oh, or I would have them slayed. Changed the Olympic season. So the medals went to me, son. Burned Christians for no reason. Just a fun game I played, you know. Poisoned my stepbrother. Ordered men to kill my mother. Tried to drown her, but she fled. So I had her stabbed instead. Oh, wait, there's more. With my first wife, dear Octavia, I showed truly bad behaviour. Chopped her head off and gave it to my girlfriend, who I then killed too. I'm bad, so baddie of badness. I'm the daddy. Come on, I wanna see a more evil bloke than me. Ho! You're bad, real bad. Nothing more to add. We all thought that we were awful, but you are really, truly mad. Woohoo! I'm the baddest emperor the Romans ever had. We're girlies from the 30s, wash the dishes, scrub the floor. When all of a sudden our hubbies went to war. Did you think we'd shrink in England's near the hour? Yeah, what? Of course not. Taking cold, breaking Air Force Miss Radar man and lorry driving Weather guessing, far and spying I do all this I took the role of land girl While our men fight far away Farming on the home front Helping save the day Tending crops and animals Manual labor hoods In the field, my uniform This scratchy time show Just a mockery. I am Queen Mary. There's no escape from your trickery. No lawyer to depend or witnesses to defend me. Your Honor. Expect me to confess that I'd bump off good Queen Bess. Treason, I call Walsingham, Lord Altringham, cause these letters are fakes. Phony, you're going down. I can prove the real. Queen of Scotland, won't you clown? Please do not carry on. You are guilty, and now admit it. Mary.
Mary's refusing to admit her guilt. What a shock, what a shame, a complete and utter scandal. From Orton and Babington, say Queen Bess you never done in. To the scaffold! To the scaffold! To the scaffold! To the scaffold! To the scaffold, she was gone! I'm Queen, your vile, I demand a fair trial. Goodness gracious, is that the time already? Bones fell a horses, time to go home. Smacked 
Could be the aorta or the vena cava. I'll prep him. I understand they're sending a specialist doctor? Yes. That's only the very best there is. The doctor, um... Oak! <laughs> Oak top stone age doctor. Oak cure. Who's sick? Uh, this man. Yes, sir. He has a problem with his blood vessel, the vena cava. Me know all about cava. Me a caveman. <laughs> cave big hole in rock. Cave dark. Cave have bear in. Bear chase Og. Og fight bear. <laughs> oh, I'm my back. You have back trouble. Why not you say Og cure. Og do tattoo. Tattoo best stone age cure for back pain. No, no, no. I don't want to look like David Beckham. Og no best. You lie down. Ow, my head. Og no best stone age cure for headache. No, I need your help like I need a hole in the head. How you know? Hole in head best cure for headache. What? No, 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 no. Actually, I'm feeling a lot better now. Thanks. Right, how are we feeling? <coughs> I'm not any better. <coughs> I really need to see a doctor. I know, but our two best doctors are off sick. And I'm afraid that just leaves Dr Hippocrates, the ancient Greek. Yes, yes, sorry I'm late. Uh, uh, let's get started, shall we? Hello, I'm Dr Hippocrates, father of medicine, on transfer from the year 400 BC. What seems to be the problem? Well, I've got a bit of a cough and I've got a terrible pain in my chest. Hmm, have you been violently shaken up and down at all? No. Well, why on earth not? Nurse, shake this woman violently up and down. If you hear a splashing sound, she has lung disease. If not, apologise and put it down. Yes, Doctor. <coughs> Hello, my name's Dr Hippocrates. What seems to be the problem? Well, I've got a nasty gash on my arm and it doesn't seem to be healing. I've just worried it might be infected. Hmm. I think we might have to run a few tests. First of all, I'll need a sample from the wound itself. Oh. Uh, then I'll need a sample of your earwax. Ah, oh. ow. Oh. <clears throat> Couple of nice, fresh bogies. Oh. Uh. And of course, last, but by no means least, a sample of your wee wee. Um, how long would it take for the results to come back? Oh, I should say about 10 to 15 seconds. <laughs> With imagination, inspiration, innovation, and perspiration, we revolutionized transportation. My steam engine's the best you will find. It was the rocket, it was called the rocket. It pulled the train, it carried passengers and was the first of its kind. It was a commotion, doing the locomotion. It was best by miles, and what a prize. The green hill trials. The Lord said it was dangerous, 
and saw how many tickets could sell. The toes were off it till they saw a profit. And so he paid the way for me. I'm his hard Kingdom Brunel. An engineer and famous pioneer. Railways off pat, a massive hat. And to top that, I was a tunnel building, bridge creating, hat crafting, ship crafting, polymath in search of a way. To take my train through my tunnel, cross my bridge to my ship and sail me fastest to the USA. My steamship, it made the trip in just 14 days. There across the ocean was clever old me, I'm quite a star. He's Henry Ford, yes, that's what he's called. My assembly line's the first to make it cheap to buy a motor car. From Henry Ford, cars you can't afford. I think you'll find, made just one kind, but never mind. I was the fastest rating, car creating, introducing, mass producing, original Model T guy. I took his engine and bird wings and bike skills, worked until we found out how much he could fly. Not just a hop, but not stop. Gonna get high, high, high. I'm Orville, what's the brains? The brawn, my brother Wilbur Wright. We were flying the plane and made the first sustained flight. Our engine small, but powerful. Propelled to a great high. Supreme, our mean machines, the stuff of dreams. We were creative, inventive, progress our incentive, always searching for a solution. We took some steel and a wheel, made a plane, car, and train, and created a revolution. Hard to believe what we achieved. Looking back, we helped change time. Transport was dollar, we added color. Well, as long as it's black. This is a tale of twists and plots and how rulers advance About young Mary, Queen of Scots, although brought up in France This is the time of Tudor rule, the English court is grumpy They think that Mary wants the throne, it don't half make them jumpy Mary, Mary was quite scary to Queen Liz the First Don't want to own your English throne, she blooming does Liz cursed, Elizabeth first called the shots, saw Mary as a threat so was she headed Queen of Scots for troubled times? You bet! Previously on Mary, Queen of Scots, a child is born to King James V of Scotland. Great news, Your Majesty. Your wife's had a baby girl. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty! No! He's dead! A new leader will rule. I crown you... Mary, Queen of Scots. <laughs> An infant queen forced to flee Scotland as her mother receives shock news. Henry VIII wants Mary to marry his son, Prince Edward, over my dead body. Mary, you are going to France. Pick four friends to take with you. Hmm. Mary, 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 and Mary. That'll be fun at passport control. A Scottish queen sent to live in France. Wait, wait. Welcome to France. Now, first things first, let us get your boyfriend. Forced to marry at 17, but destined for the French throne. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> My fossil is dead. Now I am king, and you are queen of France. Get in! Yes! Eh? We shall rule France and Scotland together for decades to come. I don't know. I don't feel so well. <laughs> Mary, queen of Scots and France, to be continued <laughs> right now. 
Blackbeard really was a bad-tempered sort, but then so was our last Georgian king about a century later. I don't think he liked waiting nearly 60 years to take the throne. I'm George the Fourth, the Regent King, which means I was just standing in. Acting King because my dad, George the Third, had gone barking mad. Banana! Great palaces I did design, Buckingham was one of mine. Art and fashion I so rated. And wise? That's more complicated. Actresses and duchesses, the great loves of my life. I loved more girls than I ate pies, but I couldn't stand my wife. He couldn't stand his wife. Go away. I only married Queen Caroline when my debts began to climb. Cause if I agreed to tie the knot, I said I'd pay off the lot. But the wedding caused all sorts of strife Cause I already had a wife A divorced Catholic? Dad did sigh, but the mad old goat just wouldn't die Still here? Oop, spoke too soon At last I can go solo As true king my reign began Though I was now older than your nan And as the ruler of our nation I banned my wife from my coronation And knowing now I did hate her She promptly died just three weeks later But all those pies that I got through Meant ten years later I died too Hello, have we met? I'm a kangaroo Actresses, duchesses The great loves of my life I love more girls than I ate pies But I couldn't stand my wife I had just ten years on the throne I was really fat. Gentlemen, we face a most difficult decision. Most difficult. Oh dear, sir. Yes, now, tea or coffee? You're right, sir. That is difficult. That's not the decision, you fool. Isn't it, sir? No, we face a much more difficult decision than that. Gentlemen, we are facing a great war. War? war? Yes, war. Why? Why war? Because an Austrian has been killed by a Serb in Bosnia, and that means war. Right. Ah, yes. I see. Yeah. Sir? Yes, Mel Travers. Why does an Austrian being killed by a Serb in Bosnia mean war, sir? <laughs> because of Russia. <laughs> ah. Why? Because Russia supports Serbia and Austria supports Bosnia, and so on. I support Arsenal. Shut up, Blenkinsop. So an Austrian has been killed by a Serbian in Bosnia, which means Austria might invade Serbia and then Russia will invade Austria. Correct. Any questions? Yes, sir. What is it, Mel Travers? How does this involve Britain, sir? Well, Mel Travers, who would you say is your best friend? Oh, well, Blinkensop, sir. He's a spiffing fellow. Mm. And if I were to punch Blinkensop in the nose, what do you think he would do? Well, <laughs> nobody punches Blinkensop and gets away with it. Thanks, old bean. Exactly. Exactly. So, if Russia threatens Austria, Austria's best friend will offer support. And who is Austria's best friend? Not Blinkensop? No! Germany! Germany is Austria's best friend, Mal Travers. Austria and Germany sitting in the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Yes! So, if Russia were to attack Austria, Germany would attack Russia. But that would leave Germany undefended on the other side. So, if Germany were to attack Russia, she would also have to attack France. France? Yes, France. And if Germany were to attack France, it would leave Belgium threatened. And Belgium is our friend. So we would hop in there to defend them. So we've all got to go and fight in a war because of that, sir. Yes, Mel Travers. Well, I might get killed, sir. Yes, you might, Mel Travers. But it would all be for a good cause. So, where is Bosnia again? Oh. I am William Wallace, my life was a mystery. 
Some say born 1272, some say 1263. Was Dad Malcolm of Paisley, maybe Alan from Air? Did I have a wife or no? Do you really care? They say I had a big red beard, but all you need to know, I was a Scottish rebel and the English were my foe. William Wallace, Scottish rebel, this is war I cry. Many English fought me and many English died. I took against the English back when I was fairly wee Cos an Englishman called Selby bullied my whole family It upset me, so I stuck him dead, well wouldn't you? Then an English sheriff came along, guess what? I killed him too! They say he killed my wife, so he deserved what he got Then England's King Ed came for me, oh I'm scared not! William Wallace, Scottish rebel Possibly six foot seven But all that really matters is I sent Englishman to heaven! 40,000 English came to Stirling Bridge for me. They had to cross a narrow bridge to get to us, you see. We held them off, pushed them back, it was no contest. Bridge collapsed, hundreds drowned, of course I killed the rest! Celebrated Stirling Bridge another Scottish win by decorating my sword with the English general's skin. William Wallace, Scottish rebel, Scottish legend too. Fought for Scottish freedom, was a hero through and through. Here's where my rebel story comes unstuck. I'd folk have defeated, I'd run out of luck. Spent seven years playing hide and seek. Captured, sent to London, tried for treason, what cheek? King Ed hanged me, then a lovely touch. Pulled my guts out. Guess he didn't like me much. Yeah! William Wallace, Scottish rebel. In Scotland, my heart lived. Though sadly, my head wound up on a spike on London Bridge. Ooh, that smarts. Racial inequality, American policy, till I kicked off a fight. What act am I let havoc to ensue? How come I'll cause such fuss? What shocking behavior did I do? Well, I sat on a bus. You sat on a bus. To give up our seats or we'd be fine. That's ludicrous. I made a stand in my hometown, Montgomery, Alabama. That's dangerous. Refused to stand for a white man, so they put me in the slammer. Discourteous. December 5, 1955, my trial notorious. Black people stood side by side and no one got on the bus. We stayed off the bus. They stayed off the bus. We P-E-C-T, enforce new legislation. Dream of the day, the USA had no implementation of S-E-G-R-E-G-A-T-I-O-N. Spell segregation. From that day on, we walked or cab led by Martin Luther King. Attacked by mobs, our houses bombed, though peace was our thing. I sat on a bus. She sat on a bus. I sat on a bus. She sat on a bus. I sat on a bus. 
Rotten Romans. Freeze! D.I. Bones, Historical Crime Squad. <laughs> oh, Detective. Thank goodness you're here. I am the Emperor Caligula, and I've been scared out of my wits. No need to worry, Emperor. Leave this to the professionals. Victim is male. Severe mutilations. I'll soon get my hands on the animal who tortured and killed this man. Oh, him? Oh, don't worry, that was me. That's just a friend that I got bored of. Now, let me tell you about this crime. No need to. I can see for myself. Oh! Victim has had his hands chopped off and a sign put about his neck encouraging people to laugh and jeer. What kind of madman would do this? Yep, that'll be me again. You did it? Such a fun party. Now, about this crime. Oh, mother, what kind of sick-minded madman would attack a priest with a hammer? Mm, you're really not getting the hang of this, are you? That was me, too. He was trying to sacrifice a bull, but he gave me the hammer, you know, to do the honours, and then I hit him with it instead! <laughs> Priceless! All these bodies are me! So why exactly did you call me here? I think someone's trying to kill me. You don't say. Hmm. Believe it or not, I think there's one or two people out there who, for some unknown reason, don't seem to like me. One or two? I imagine half the Empire would like to see you dead. Really? You think so? Well, in which case, I'd better bump off anyone acting suspiciously. Victims were all killed by one paranoid and clearly psychotic Roman Emperor. Hmm. Talking into a small box? Talk about acting suspiciously. What do you think, Wackus Bonkus? Kill him. Ooh. You naughty Wackers Bonkers. What a good idea. <laughs> a detective. <laughs> King Henry VIII, my father, hoped I'd have some Tudor brothers. Mum had no son, so rather I got plenty of stepmothers. When at last Prince Ed was born, the crown I bid adieu. He said as king he must be sworn, boys go first in the queue. But there's no need to worry if at first you don't succeed. When it died, I swept aside the rest and was decreed Mary. The first, that's me, Tudor lady and queen of England. Not to be confused with Mary, queen of Scots, not the same sea. Though weirdly, she's a cousin to To say Lady Jane Grey should be queen after Ed But England wanted me, hooray, so poor Jane lost her head Protestants were saying that my ruling made them sick Cause when it came to praying, my tastes were Catholic They revolted, challenged me, fueled my great desire To tie 300 to a stake, light touch paper Say my rule was short but not that sweet I had no kids named half says Liz as big queen best to be So long as she would rule the land as a Catholic queen like me Lizzie didn't listen she made the country Protestant Meaning my legacy was ruined See everything I tried to achieve went down Embarrassing, really. Of all the kings called Henry, I'm the one you've rarely heard. Shakespeare wrote four, five, six, eight, but seven, not a word. People think I'm dreary. 
To some extent, I am. But look a little closer. Glam, bam, thank you, ma'am! I didn't agree with King Richard III, so I fought him at Bosworth Field and won victory. How cool does this sound? I'm the king of found. Richard's crown and a hedge on the winning battleground. The only way to end war and avert further disaster, there's got to be a way to unite York and Lancaster. I'm the original ch 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 Tudor, founder of that dynasty. The man who closes the walls of the roses That's right, that's right, that's me I launched attacks on lords who earned stacks Mine was a noble cause to tap them all for tax They paid their share, was only fair To make England rich and me a millionaire Elizabeth York became my wife for life That make me a bore Joined our family seats, that's neat, made my rule secure. I'm the original ch 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 Tudor, returning power to the state. Seemed quite toothless, but actually ruthless, I made the monarchy great. Spent a long time fighting, pretenders to the throne. Lambert Sindel and Perkin Warbeck said my throne was their own. They claim they've been the princes In the tower their rule delayed I said this crown ain't big enough For the three of us and had one slain I'm the original ch 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 Tudor King of foreign policy To end hostile relations With enemy nations I asked them to make friends with me Yeah, the original ch 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 Tudor They say dullness my main trait well, that's a sad indictment, because if you're looking for excitement, my son was Henry the We are the roundheads, we don't want kings no more. That's why we started the English Civil War. People say we're no fun, but we disagree. Especially when explaining parliamentary democracy. We are particularly excited by the notions of jurisprudence. That's enough dullness, we're the cavalier crew. Supporting King Charles and everything that he'll do. Puritans bore us, it's really a crime. When your parliamentary business cuts our partying time. Roundheads, soundheads, keep the music down, heads. Rules and regulations led. Dull but fair. Cavaliers, three cheers, wacky ahead gears. We live to boogie with our peers. Unfair, don't care. I am the king, I can do what I like. Start up a war or a big tax hike. Got a French wife, she's a Catholic. Oh, Lord, really, King Charles, we're not quite sure. Insolence, is that how you talk to the crown? I am the king, I'll just close Parliament down. I think you'll find that's in breach of due process. Here's what we say to that. Now clear up this mess. Roundheads, heads, which you should be drownheads. Don't believe in crown heads. Parliament's our thing. Cavaliers, three cheers, your superiors. We're all tops who cry here, here, and God save the king. Fight, 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 fight. Cavaliers, roundheads, the English Civil War. Why is it called civil? May I kill you, please? Sure. Love civil wars to be fought on this land. If I get to power, Christmas will be banned. No chance, Cromwell. Victory will be mine. You'll never pass a ban on men's spies and mulled wine. That's what you think. Just wait till you're caught. I'll also scrap theatre, music and sport. Your pathetic war will finish even before it's begun. We've taken Charles prisoner. The roundheads have won. Oh. Victory, three cheers. Cavaliers in tears. No power for years. I'm the leader of the pack. Charles head roundhead. Hurrah, now the king's dead. Sin's been instead a righteous track. But we'll be back.
I'm Marcus Asinius Crassus. No rich man can ever surpass us. Wanted people to say I was brave, but lost my first fight in Hidden Nate Cave. Living there could be a pauper's nightmare, but if you're rich like me, then you don't care. I call my slave to the cave to ask it, to cook a feast and lower in a basket. There's Romans think they're minted, but they ain't rich like me. You can't call yourself loaded till you can buy an army. Ran wrong with Pompey and Caesar, they're more famous than me. But I'm the world's richest geezer, there's no one richer than me. I'm minted! I back General Sulla, every day my wallet got fuller. Took the land off of enemies to flog it, use the cash to fill my pocket. If I heard of a house on fire, I'd rush over be a quick cash buyer. My firemen would then douse the flames, boom, another big house to my name. There's Romans think they're minted, but they ain't rich like me. You can't call yourself loaded till you can buy an army. Ran wrong with Pompey and Caesar, they're more famous than me. But I'm the world's richest geezer, there's no one richer than me. I bought an army for fighting Spartacus At the start my men lost heart Cos I killed one in ten in a killing spree So they were more scared of me than the enemy Smashed the slaves, it got real gory But then Pompey stole my glory To show it was me that crushed the horde Nailed up the slaves like on a billboard Not enough to be a politician Want to triumph to my army on a mission Got owned by the Parthian Persians They killed me, but you'll hear two versions The famous one's quite hard to follow They gave me bowling gold to swallow But the true way they made me pay They used my head as a prop in a play Embarrassing. There's Romans think they're minted, but they ain't rich like me. You can't call yourself loaded till you can buy an army. Ran wrong with Pompey and Caesar, they're more famous than me. But I'm the world's richest geezer, there's no one richer than me. Ha <laughs> ha, love it. Tell me you don't love it. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, all you helots. You zealots, you Peloponnesians, you Lacedaemons, all of Leonidas's army, let's get barmy for the Spartan School Musical! Go, Go Sparta! High school where boys are turned to men. I pack my sword and shield, we don't use paper and pan. Everyone's a jock here, we don't have Spartan nerds. The weedy kids were left to die as breakfast for the birds. We're taught to love a fight, we're taught not to be meek. And if we're good, they feed us three square meals every week. Let's go fight and not fight. Music's exciting now. At Spartan Kindergarten, I'm the boss that's understood. I smack them if they're naughty and I thwack them if they're good. I'm feeling rather peckish, I'm gonna steal some food. Caught, I'll have to punish you, ungrateful Spartan brood. We promise not to steal, we're not the thieving sword. Stealing is considered good, what's wrong is getting caught. Let's get beaten, now we're in lies and cheating, now rolling at the Spartan school. We have a bunch of contests to see who is the best. The meanest, leanest, toughest, roughest Spartan contest. This one is my favorite game, lessons of good fun. Didn't feel a thing. I want my mom. We pass our last exam and it's far from graduation. Straight away we go to work, no time for celebration. Ten years active service in the army, no diversion. There's only one job for a Spartan, killing loads of Persians. <laughs> Wondering about love, it's bound until you're 30. High school doesn't teach romance, it teaches fighting dirty. Let's go fight and not fight. Music's exciting, now rocking up the Spartan school. When I was a nipper, I bought it a clipper, sailed the seas as a goods and porter. Oh, Edward teaches my name, but I earned my famous Blackbeard, the pirate of the water. Oh, was a jolly chap with a jaunty cap, always gave my crew good quarter. Oh, but I'm best known for blood and guts and gore and a vicious reign of murdering and slaughter. Oh, best known for blood and guts and gore and a vicious reign of murdering and slaughter. Oh. Left my home in Bristol with a sword and pistol Bid a fond farewell to old blighty Oh, What my enemies feared was my thick black beard Which I always enjoyed setting light to oh, Once I had a thing for a captive's lovely ring That shone like a jewel in the nighty oh, 
When the man said no, I just said oh, and chopped off his hand and said righty-o. Man said no, he said oh, chopped off his hand and said righty-o. Oh, I love to sail the ocean with my flag that inspired emotion. With its smiling pile of skull and bone, smashing hearts with a violent stabbing motion. And I love to escape detection and to win my crew's affection. Which was nothing to do with the 12 guns he wore on his belt that were for protection. I was awfully nice, but I had the old vice, which occasionally caused a commotion. The thing that I do was shoot members of my crew if they didn't show enough devotion. The thing he'd do was shoot members of the crew if they didn't show enough devotion. Once when very irate, I shot my first mate, Israel Hands, for a bit of pleasure. Oh, and when my dead crew killed half of my crew to increase my share of the treasure. Was doing well then, seemed to run out of men. My captors boarded at the leisure. Oh, smote me dead, then cut off my head and displayed it on my mask for good measure. Oh, smote him dead, chopped off his head, displayed it on the mask for good measure. Oh, here we come through the market square with our funny clothes and hair. Aristotle and Socrates, Plato and Diogenes, four fab scholars with our Greek philosophy. Like a toddler was always asking why What is wisdom, what is beauty, what is nature, what is duty Taught everything I know to this next guy I'm Plato was his pupil thinker Ended up with inky fingers Writing every word he taught me down also had my own theory Like for everything that we see There's a perfect version to be found To say thanks or please Hope statues and walk barefoot in the snow Never believed in possessions Thought they gave the wrong impression Put faith in total freedom, don't you know? I studied at Plato's Academy Taught Alex the Great, I know everything me Intrigued by the world, wanted to show it all I took all their theories higher Discovered water, ether, earth, air and fire Learned every science I missed, don't know it all Smarties, though, even Socrates had his foe When tried for treason, he simply said, why? They sentenced him to drink hemlock He said, you know, if I take stock, I am annoying I'll take that and die died, his son Edward VI came to power, aged just nine. But he died only six years later, and after that it wasn't clear who would take the throne. Are you Protestant? Are you vaguely related to Henry VIII? Is your name Lady Jane Grey? They 
And you've won our star prize. And you're going to experience what it's like to be queen for nine days. Wow. That's nine whole days in charge of England. Here's what you'll get. Day one, we set you up in royal apartments at the Tower of London to await your coronation. Ooh, this is nice. I could get used to this. I don't think so. Day two, we throw in a crown for free. Go on, try it on for size. OK, what harm can it do? <laughs> You'll find that out on day nine. Sorry? Nothing. Day three, it's coronation time. Now you're the queen. You get to go out and meet your public. They don't even know who you are. We don't even know who she is. They were expecting a different person to be queen. We were expecting a different person to be queen. <laughs> they smell a wee. We smell it. Uh, see what you're trying to do there. Actually, we do. Day four, you have a letter sent to Henry VIII's daughter, Mary Tudor, asking her to recognise you as queen. Fingers crossed. Day five, you get Mary's reply. What does it say? Bog off. What? Well, that's the gist of it. Day six, relax and take in the luxurious surroundings, while Mary Tudor amasses an army to have you removed from power. <laughs> what? Day seven, relax and take in the luxurious surroundings. It's like I could be any less relaxed. Mum, our armies have been defeated in Cambridge by Mary Tudor. She says she's the Queen now and she's marching on London. OK, so now I'm less relaxed. Day eight, relax and take in the luxurious surroundings. Enough of this relaxing nonsense, OK? I'll have you know, I'm so stressed, my skin is peeling off. Oh, yuck, it's not very regal, is it? And day nine, relax and... Oh, all right, then panic, as the people who support Mary Tudor as their rightful queen and all your supporters desert you to save their own skins. Too late for yours, it's all peeled off anyway. Well, this can't get any worse. Yes, it can. And this fantastic offer ends in true Tudor style with a visit to the executioner. I never wanted to be queen in the first place. With queen for nine days, the shortest reign in history is yours, whether you want it or not. Warning, limited to nine days only. Offer expires in 1553. I lived a happy life till I was ten years old When death landed dad in prison and our country house was sold Lodged with a lady in her London flat so cold Work today, boot polish factory, labelling jars quite dull all told. Goodness only knows, I was a miserable soul. For a time I went to school, but then I found a job. As a clerk to a lawyer, oh, it made my poor head throb. I failed to be an actor despite my loud gob Ended up reporting speeches of the parliamentary mob Then as everybody knows I started writing prose Put my life into my books Friends and enemies and crooks Legal bosses up the crop In the old curiosity shop Faking in Oliver Twist A factory pal you get the gist And although my memory's quite foggy Got Scrooge from the grave of Ebenezer Scrooge My first book was an overnight sensation But I drove myself too hard to enjoy the adulation Despite my wealth my family begged for money I wrote of it in Chuzzlewit, which people said was funny Didn't sell like books before, my family still asked for more Little Dorrit is a tale about my dad in debtor's jail While Hard Times tells my life about when I tried to leave my wife Little Nell's death was my poor dear departed sister-in-law And David Copperfield working in a factory I must confess that that was really me In my life felt shame about poverty in childhood Wrote about sadness, suffering and fears Also wrote about people with funny names Bumble, small weed, Scrooge, Uriah Heep and Whackfoot Squares Whilst writing Edwin Drood, the train crash didn't help my mood 
Still I drove myself on With readings far across the pond Died before I wrote Drew's end Sort of thing drove me round the bend So Dickens, take her Dickens, take a bow And heaven knows I'm miserable <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, would you please welcome to the stage Mr. William Shakespeare. My name is Shakespeare William I own the feather quill I am the writer most familiar to you my way with words amazes me Came up with so many phrases me That still the number dazes me too Oh, you gotta be cruel to be kind If truth were known, love is blind Yet yeah, each of these quotes you will find It's what I do Seen better days That's one of his Our salad days He is the best All the world's a stage They call me Billy Wills May seem kind of scary I'm a walking dictionary Sturdy with the wordy Shakespeare Quality of mercy is not strained Such stuff as dreams are made off with his head, my phrases you'll know This is the short and long of it Brevity is the soul of wit As good luck would have it, you can quote Oh, you suffered green-eyed jealousy Please do not stand on ceremony I wrote the Queen's English Queen's English I wrote It's Greek to me That's a Shakespeare line Meat and drink to me He was the first to combine Infinite variety Yeah, that was one of mine Don't call me flaky I'm William Shaky Not lazy with the phrasey Shakespeare I was the greatest, I was ace To find a better writer, that's a wild goose chase I was truly brilliant, which is why I sing You can't have too much of a good thing If music be the food of love, play on Et to Brute Did you ever know Forever and a day From a Shakespeare show Good riddance, fair play Pure as the dream now. High time Lilo, wherefore out the Romeo, the nation's favorite bar, Shakespeare. Dooby dooby dooby, to be or not to be. Shooby dooby dooby, Shakespeare. Slimy Stewarts. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Well, that was when a Stuart bloke called Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the king about 400 years ago. Hello. Fireworks night can be very dangerous. I should know. I'm Roman Catholic revolutionary Guy Fawkes and I'm here to give you a few important safety tips for November the 5th. Bonfire night safety tip number one. Be very careful when transporting 36 barrels of highly explosive gunpowder into a cellar below the Houses of Parliament. Oh, no, no, no smoking. Safety tip number two. Always make sure there are no fellow Catholics in Parliament. You wouldn't want to blow them up, would you? I think I'll write a letter to Lord Monteagle to warn him not to come to Parliament on the 5th. Ooh, hang on. Could that jeopardise our plan? Nah, I think it'd be all right. Safety tip number three. When you're going to light 36 barrels of gunpowder, do stand well back. Preferably three miles back so you don't get caught red-handed. Gotcha! I got a chip off from Lord Montego. I don't suppose you'd come back in 12 hours when I've blown up the king, would you? No. Safety tip number four. 
do be careful not to get tortured. Give me the names of your co-conspirators. No. Not even that idiot what wrote to Lord Monteagle. Oh, yes, you can have it. Bonfire night safety tip number five. And this is the most important one. Under no circumstances, get hung, drawn and quartered. All right, mate. <coughs> OK, you're over here. It's just in here. It's true. When Lord Monteagle got the letter from Guy Fawkes' mate warning him about the plot, he passed the information straight on to the King's men. He was rewarded with land and money. Presumably, he got a penny for the guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on. I was pleased with that one. <laughs> we Saxons were defeated by Norman Duke, William the Conqueror. He was a pretty ruthless character, and he always got his own way. He was the vicious, arrogant Norman Duke who would one day rule England. Oh, really? Good. I like England. Apart from the weather. Oh, and the food. And the people. <laughs> she was the beautiful granddaughter of the French king. Grandpapa, can I have a pony? Yes, have a hundred ponies. I love you, Grandpapa. And when William asked for her hand in marriage, there was only ever going to be one answer. No way. I'm way too posh for that stinky Duke William. I'm going to marry like a prince or something. But William wouldn't take no for an answer. He set off on a journey to win the heart of the beautiful princess. Stand up. I am standing up. Well, you're very small. Yeah, I'm like four foot. What do you want? I want you to marry me. I will never marry you. We'll see about that. Duke William used all his charm to make Matilda fall in love with him. Marry me. No! Marry me. No! Marry me. Okay! Great! Hey, whoa, 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 now hang on a minute. What was all that about? All what? All that! You pulling her hair and pushing her in the mud and stuff. Well, it's just what happened. She said no, so I pulled her hair and then I pushed her in the mud and... But you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was terrible. But actually, he turned out to be a really good husband. Yeah, we were together 30 years. We had 11 beautiful children. Yeah, but it's kind of... But I... Uh, yeah. What? what? Ah, forget it. So where were we? Coming soon to a cinema near you, Mud and Matilda. A tale of loving and shoving. Oi! I already said yes! Oh, sorry. My bad. Rated unreasonable. Words we get from the Normans. War. Peace. Violence. Justice. Savage. Amuse. Punish. Gentle. Enemy. Regret. Murder! Surrender? Boom! Mind you, as we'll see, when you're top of the tree, not everyone likes you. Take Crooked King John in 1215. He was a truly rotten ruler who annoyed his people so much they rebelled against him and forced him to agree to a list of their demands called Magna Carta. And Johnny Boy was not happy about that one bit. Your Majesty, we, the noblemen of England, are worried about your continued abuse of power. Mm. It threatens the future of the realm. So we've gathered here at Runnymede, and we've written a list of grievances in this document here called the Magna Carta. Yeah. Really ticked off, actually. Really yeah. ticked off. Big time. Magnum Cartos, whatever. Got some grievances of my own, actually. I think you'll find our grievances are more serious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think you find mine now. I don't think you will, actually. I think I will, actually. I don't think you will, actually. There's only one way to settle this. I propose a grievance battle. Oh. Oh. Baron, hit it! What, what, where to start? Which part? We got so many grievances, we could fill a cart. Let's start with some facts, like tax. They're so heavy that they're gonna break our backs. We can't pay, there's no chance. We lost all our money when you lost France. The northern bit, anyway. Your Majesty, you got pwned. Drop some beats, player. 
I'm confused. Is this real? I thought I was the king. I'm holding his seal. Kneel to the king, I'll see you grovel in the grime. I'll tax what I like, I'll even tax this rhyme. Barons don't grovel, it's time to get real. Listen to me, dog, or you're gonna feel some steel. This chart is tight. We don't need to fight. Just hit it with your seal and give us our rights. Some serious points. I ain't finished. We want a council to represent which people. We want a free church with a free steeple. We want you to stop stealing our sons and holding them hostage like you have done. There's vital stuff here that you've got to give us. There's also some stuff about fishing in the rivers. So stop. Read what we plead. Agree the deed in running need. Do what we ask or we're gonna make you bleed. <sighs> yeah, I hear what you're saying. If I don't tread gently for my life, I will be praying. So tell me what to do. You're the boss. They will have to do this later because I'm taking up the cross. Interesting development. I wonder... Uh, shut up. Hang on a minute. You must think we're barmy. While you're talking here, you're hiring up an army. So how about this? Let's barter. We'll, we'll stay loyal if you agree to Magna Carta. Oh! oh! Whatever, dog. I'll agree, you skanky scroll. I'm tired of this game and it's time for me to roll. I ain't bothered. It don't fill me with sorrow. No one will even remember this tomorrow. Plus, I'm messes with the Pope and he'll ignore this ting. I do things my way because I'm John and I'm the king. Man, this king is fat. Harsh. Bring out your debts. Bring out your debts. Here, will you take my butt, will ya? Plague, was it? Yeah, you will give him a proper burial, won't ya? Of course I will. I'll chuck him in a pit with all the others. Oh, good, yeah, it's what he would have wanted. He's worrying, though, isn't it, this plague thing, you know? I mean, where's he come from? Well, I'm glad you asked me that. <laughs> it starts with a little flea that jumps upon a rat. It bites the rat and gives it germs, and for the rat, that's that. <clears throat> then the flea, it looks for somewhere else to find its food. It hops on you and me and starts to suck our blood. First, you feel a little poorly, and then you start to swell. <clears throat> then you start to spit some blood, and then you really smell. <clears throat> then you know it's time to ring your funeral bell. Don't. Along comes Mr. Death and swishes you to hell. Gone. There's lots of cures to help you if you have the cash. Kill the village cats and dogs and burn them all to ash. Sit down in a sewer so the smell drives plague away. Place chicken bottoms on your spots, then you'll be okay. First, you. Feel a little poorly and then you start to swell Then you start to spit some blood and then you really smell Pull. Then you know it's time to ring your funeral bell Don't Along comes Mr. Death and, death and swishes you to hell Play kills little children even more than mums or dads A priest said it's because the wicked kids have acted bad Half the people on the earth are simply blown away so for Mr. Death, these will be really busy days. First, you feel a little poorly, and then you start to swell. Then you start to spit some blood, and then you really smell. Then you know it's time to ring your funeral bell. Along comes Mr. Death, and swishes you to hell. Along comes Mr. Death, and swishes you to hell. Bring out your dead. Bring out your debt! Bring out your debt! Where I stood, priests, so mind your head. Our prisoners always wind up dead. Our favorite color is blood red. We're not nice. At an Aztec temple's opening day, we priests would please our gods this way. Hearts of enemies we'd slay, mass sacrifice. To win at war, make crops grow more, to cure our kids when ill. The sun to shine, this song to rhyme, more victims we must kill. You won't survive, you won't survive. Ain't staying alive, ain't staying alive. Yeah. With sacrifice, we priests appease. Our gods, each powerful big cheese. Let's hear it for your favorites, please. Ah. We're doing it for Tokyo. The Aztec goddess at the Earth's heart. We're doing it for Chantico. Goddess who makes volcanoes stop. We're doing it for Itzy. The goddess of stone knives. We're doing it for Itz Apollo. Or mommy talk to Lee Chico, no way you cattle. Uh, some of the gods' great lives. Ha, 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 ha. Don't 
don't cross our sass checks, we advise ya. Ha, 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 ha. Or you'll end up as fertilizer. Yeah. Our year starts in November when every priestly member is asked if they'll remember our Aztec dead. We do this if you haven't guessed by getting something up your chest. Your heart would probably be best or else your head. And then on our year planners, it's the raising of the banners and it's only polite manners to kill more guys. December and January, dismembering methods fairy. All you need to know is that we pile them high. May and June, it's summertime, the killing is easy. It's only halfway through the year, bet you're feeling queasy. In autumn time, we sweep our homes and kill some more, but then by late October, the killing's over, then it starts up again. You won't survive, you won't survive. Ain't staying alive, ain't staying alive. Want to live until you're old. Avoid us priests, you've been told. It's my big fat Tudor wedding, and this week big fat Tudor Henry is getting married again after the death of his third wife, Jane Seymour, if Chief Minister Thomas Cromwell can talk him into it. Her name's Anne of Cleves. She's a nice Protestant girl. Oh, I don't know, Crummers. I've only just lost my third wife, Jane Seymour, and now I've got the male heir I want. I'd need a pretty good reason to marry someone else. Well, how about to secure an alliance against the Pope and to ensure the survival of the Church of England? No, I mean, you know, she'd have to be well fit. Well. Oh, she hasn't got a younger sister, has she? Um, yes. <sighs> All right, I'll have that one. Good choice, sir. With the portrait of Anne having done the trick, it's time for Henry to meet his bride. Now remember, she's German, so quite straight-laced. Don't worry, I've done this before. Ready, boys? Oh, yeah. No, 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 please. The entire English Reformation depends upon this marriage, sire. And Rome raid, Rome raid, Rome raid, Rome raid, Rome raid. It's me, your new husband. Oh. Oh. Anne's not impressed. And neither is Henry. But the wedding plans are well underway. She looks nothing like her portrait. Well, to be fair, sire, neither do you. I mean, your legs are thinner, your belly is much fatter now, and your... Do you like your head where it is, Crummers? Yes. Mm. Good. Unable to wiggle out of the wedding, Henry says, I do. Congratulations, sire. England is safe. Yes, unlike your head. What? Oh, no, please. Anne, there's something I wanted to say. The thing is... It's not you, it's me. Hang on, I was going to say that. I guess I'm just not the marrying sort. I mean, you're clearly a nice person. I was going to say that, too. So great. How about a quick divorce? Perfect. I'll get my people onto it. Crikey. Who's that? Hello. Next week, my big fat Tudor wedding. Henry gets married again to Anne's former lady-in-waiting, Catherine Howard. And the week after that, he'll probably marry someone else. Again. Bad news for Catherine. True to form, Henry had her executed and married his sixth wife, Catherine Parr. But good news for her, she managed to outlive Henry. Result! OK. Pomplemousse. Baguette and brie. Are you ready? I'm Joan of Arc from Don Remy. Religious visions came to me. God said, save France from the English and make Dauphin Charles king. Dauphin means heir to the throne. But England claimed the crown as their own. We'd had a hundred years of war. This girl had to do something. So I did it like a dude, cut my hair. Gave up wearing dresses, bought a pair of trousers. No blouses, said I want to fight Angleterre. Charles, let me join the army, army, army. Shot. But 
But I was a lucky mascot Inspired soldiers with bravery Fought injured and survived But in 1430 Burgundians captured me King Charles wouldn't pay my ransom No one told me why Being prisoner was not my style Tried escaping from my captor's vile But then the English who fought me Fought me, made me stand trial So where was King Charlie, Charlie, Charlie? He'd given up and left me, left me, left me In the English now Whole thing so unfair Said put me in a, uh-huh, no nunnery They said don't be, uh-uh, for funnery If you dress like a male We'll put you in men's jail Joan of Arc you're charged with sorcery. You're just jealous because God speaks to me. You say you speak to saints. In this discourse, what language do they speak? French, of course. Ah, now you're in prison. They have failed you. I say it's God's plan that you're my jailer. Here's a trick question in that case. Do you think that you are in God's grace? If I am not, may God put me there. And if I am, may God so keep me. Oh, your smart remarks go round the houses. You're guilty of heresy and wearing men's trousers. Despite my testimony, phony, phony, condemned for reasons phony, 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 but my will did not break, so they turned me to a stake. Burned alive was my destiny, tiny, tiny, and here is the irony, runny, runny. My death led France to put on war paint and crush the English, so now I'm a saint. Horrible history